Happy New Year and welcome to the January edition of Cornerstone Connect. We have a very special program planned just for you. Tom Hollis stops by to share the story of his life. Pastor Jay Gilbert will zoom in to talk about a brand new series featured on Hope Today called Life in a Post Row World. And Crystal Tillman joins me to tell of exciting events just for you. All that and more coming up next. Welcome to Cornerstone Connect. I'm your host, Amanda Brocker, and I just have one question for you. Have you received your Hope Today newsletter? If not, please give us a call at 888-665-4483 or go to ctvn.org, but make sure you get connected to Cornerstone. Well, I'm excited. So many of you sent in your stories of praise at the end of last year, and I just would like to take it a moment to reflect on some of that mail. This one here says, God bless you for being there with the exhortation when I was in desperate need. Christine, that is why we're here. We are so thankful that God assigned you to be watching us at that moment in your life. And this is from Cindy. She said, Dear Cornerstone, it is, I am so very thankful for Cornerstone Television. I have it on almost all of the day, every day. I especially like hard questions, sister to sister, origins, Billy Graham, Charles Stanley, Dr. David Jeremiah, at home with Arlene, Grace Walk, the 700 Club, CBN News. I could go on and on. Cornerstone is absolutely wonderful. This is from our very thankful viewer, Cindy. Thank you so much for writing in. We love it when people are ministered to by the programs here. And this is from Morris. He said, praise Jesus. I pray for the prayer warriors at Cornerstone Network. And he is excited to be a partner with them. And I, you know, we all have to be thankful for those prayer partners. They are faithful. They are there to answer that call 24 seven. And because of your support, that's what makes that possible. Well, I'm running out of time. So coming up next, my co-host Tom Hollis stops by to share the story of his life. So stay tuned for that and so much more. Are you facing a detour? Are things not as expected? discouragement, frustration, anxiousness, sickness. God loves you more than you can ever know. Romans 8:39 assures nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God. Call our prayer line or connect with us online. Well, welcome Tom Hollis. We love to bring you on to Cornerstone Connect so that you just have the opportunity to share your heart. But there's a statement from your article in January's newsletter and it says, there is a fresh blank page just ahead of you. So embrace the new, follow the author and see great things in 2024. Very <laughs> well said, but get dive in. Give we, us the you know, we, we always want to, what do we do? We, we want to set, uh, you know, um, New Year's resolutions. Maybe we set goals, you know, by 10 days in, we've broken most of them, you know. Um, but uh, but we do have a new page every day. Uh, somebody said that there's a, the, the next year is a 365 page book. All right. So you get to write something new every page. And I really like that. I like that allusion uh, to the idea, not al not illusion, but allusion uh, to the idea that there is a blank uh, slate every day. And, and you know, the thing is, we're not doing this on our own. We're not writing our story ourselves. We have the Holy Spirit. He's a pretty good author. He wrote the Bible, you know? And, he, and it's interesting because he worked through people to write the Bible. Now, we're not writing scripture, but we are writing what God wants to do in our life. It's so important and thinking about that, you know, how important is it to not be living by last year's book we wrote? This is one of your points, <laughs> but I think yeah. so often we can tend to live in the past. Well, we really can. And, and it's not to say that things don't hang on us. They do sometimes from the past, but God wants to heal those. 
and he wants us to not live in the past. So we're not rewriting last year's book. You know, this isn't, uh, you know, this isn't Lord of the Rings, the first book. It's the second book. You know, it's we're moving to the new, right? Um, uh, hopefully, we can be healed and leave those things behind, those hurts, those pains, those problems. Um, if not, well, we just need to keep working on that. But for the new. Well, don't let those things, don't say, well, hey, this is what happened in book one. Book two is going to be the same thing. It isn't. It can be different. And, and again, the Holy Spirit is guiding the pen of our lives. You know, we're writing. And, you know, think about it. If you were going to write the story of your life, what would you write? You're like, hey, I'd like to climb Mount Everest, not me. Maybe somebody does, you know. <laughs> I'd like to, you know, uh, do this. I'd like to do this ministry. Or I'd, I'd like to, you know, teach a class. Or I'd like to... Uh, you know, uh, write a book. I'd like to uh, visit Europe. I'd like to do something. Um, I'm not being frivolous with this. I'm, I'm like, the main thing is I'd like to know God better. Okay. Yeah. When we know God better, we let him write that story. That's right. I love you say, follow the author. What does following the author look like in your life? Well, it, it means, first of all, getting God's heart, you know, getting God's mind, God's heart. It means, you know, being willing to, um, kind of let God shake things up. And that's not always the most comfortable thing. I like my comfort zone. I like living in there, but um, uh, all of us do, I think. But it's really important that we are willing to go out of that comfort zone into this adventure. I mean, I love adventure stories. They're my favorite thing. So, um, but I don't write adventure stories of my own very often in my own life. But God wants to write those things. He wants to take us to places we've never been. He wants to take us to places physically, maybe another country, maybe a mission trip. He wants to take us spiritually to places we've never been. When you've served the Lord for a long time, you can tend to think, okay, well, I know what it means to serve the Lord. Do you know that God's got way more than we've ever even imagined? I mean, God's got things beyond our ability to even conceive when we get to heaven, but it's not just for when we get to heaven, it's for right now. What does God want to do in my life, in your life, in anyone's life right now that is beyond what we could imagine. All we have to do is let him do it. That's right. Let him write it. That's right. I'm thinking about, you know, that one that is out there watching and they've had the past that some people would say it haunted them or like things that traumas they weren't able to move beyond. You know, what is your word of encouragement for them? Well, let me just say, I've, I've used this illustration of, of writing a new book and God really wants to do that in your life. I, I know it may, not, uh, it may not resonate with you, but I know this resonates that uh, you are a new creature in Christ, that those things of the past have, have gone away. And you say, well, I, I became a Christian 30 years ago and those things were, well, it's a new day. It's a new beginning. And it's not just because it's a new year. Right now, wherever, whatever your day it is when you're watching this, maybe it's in the middle of July, you found us on, on, uh, on YouTube. Wherever it is, that's the new beginning. And God wants a new beginning in you. As much as God wants anything, he wants to create a new beginning for you. If you don't know Christ, that's the ultimate new beginning. But if you do know Christ, there's a new step, a new, a new way to go. And I think of Philip in the book of Acts having a great time of ministry. And the Lord said, go down this road. And it changed the, the life of a country, Ethiopia, by him going down this road. That's dramatic. Maybe everything's not going to be that dramatic, but some things will be. Just follow the Lord. Let the let this Holy Spirit say something to you. That's right. It's obedience. It's getting in God's word. So our prayer for you is that you would find time to set aside to be with the Lord. You know, in 2024, I pray that a big part of your book that you're writing is the amount of time that you have spent with your heavenly Father who loves you beyond. Well, thank you so much you know, for being with us. It's going to be 2024, yeah. right? It Let's is. get a piece of paper and write down 24 things you'd like to see the Lord do. I just thought of that. It's not even in the article, you Amen. know, write down 24 things. They could be the simplest things in the world. 24 things that you just like to see God do in 2024 and, and let God do them. You know, they could be grand or they could be very small. But if you, if you just let the, the Holy Spirit take control of your thought process there for a while, He'll lead you into some of that. Amen. Well, good word, Tom Hollis. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with us Great today. To be with you. Well, coming up, Crystal Tillman joins to tell us of exciting opportunities coming up this month. Stay tuned. 
All year long, your support helped us witness personal and family healing, salvations and breakthroughs. I'm Amanda Brocker, one of the hosts on Hope Today. Many of these miracles, like this one from Margie, are heard through our 24-7 prayer line. Margie shared that her brother-in-law, who's in hospice, accepted the Lord. Our prayer center will receive 60,000 calls by the end of the year. We couldn't make this impact without you. Well, we are so excited to have our own Crystal Tillman today for Cornerstone Connect and give us, you know, just a little bit of what's happening in your sphere of influence. I know in marketing and directing and working with our donors. Absolutely, and there's so many great things happening, Amanda, but I wanted to take today to answer a viewer question. We have so many people that ask us, especially in the month of January, why should I give to Cornerstone Television Network in my will and how do I do that? Mm -hmm. And Amanda, that can be an odd question sometimes because right. often we think about wills as only being about passing away in death, but really it's about allowing the gospel to continue after life, about caring for our loved ones and allowing lives to continue to be transformed and provided for through what God has given us. So I just wanted to share some of the reasons why partners currently put us in their will and then if you need some help doing that, how Cornerstone Television can be a blessing to you. So just want to talk to you directly, viewers, if you are thinking about giving to Cornerstone your will, here's why other folks do it. One, because they want to leave a legacy for the gospel. They want the gospel to advance. Two, because they want to also still uh, take care of their family, which means their children and their grandchildren. And Amanda, it's amazing to see the tremendous blessing and the testimony it is when we're good stewards and to have our families witness that. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know how you feel about it, but one of the common myths is that uh, if I'm not wealthy, there's no reason to have a will. I should wait till I'm almost passing away. I should wait till a later stage in life. But really there's reasons to think about it now while we're of sound mind, um, while we can make those strong decisions. And one of the things that I wanted to share with our partners is that you do not have to be wealthy to, to give in your will. Many of our partners uh, give at $20 a month or $50 a month or $84 a month. And they need to give at that level so they can continue to care for their needs but they're able to give a significant gift after they've passed away. So that's one of the benefits of giving through your will. Amen. If someone's interested in doing that, you know, what would be their first steps? Well, it kind of depends. Most people listening today probably fall into maybe one of three different camps. One, well, that's great news. I've already done my will, but I haven't looked at it in a few years. Perhaps I've had a life change. I've had a move. I had a, I've had a partner, a spouse pass away. Um, perhaps I've sold a business. Now's a good time to look at that will again. And you can get some help from us by um, actually emailing us at info at ctvn.org. So that email address again is info at ctvn.org. They'll connect you to me and then we'll provide you with our tax identification and um, some general information that you'll wanna to give to your attorney. Secondly, you might fall in the camp of, okay, I haven't done a will yet, but I'm in process. I still just need your tax ID and that general information. Same method, email us at info at ctvn.org. Lastly, you could be one of those, and I'm gonna to talk to you directly again, who's saying, this is great, I'm sold, I wanna make a difference for the kingdom of God, but I don't know how to get started. We'll connect you with a wonderful organization, Amanda, called the Barnabas Foundation. Mm -hmm. And they have been around since 1974. They are kingdom-minded, mission-minded, into the will of God, just like us. Mm -hmm. And I will redirect you to them. They'll be able to answer your questions, help you to establish your will in a way that will not only take care of your family, but will help you to advance ministry as well. So we're glad to have that to offer to you partners um, for one of the first times as well. That is one, it sounds like a win-win for yes. your family and for Cornerstone. Absolutely. So, all right, well, info at ctvn.org was the email. Yes, and for those of you who aren't tech savvy, you can call our prayer line 888-665-4483 and they'll redirect you to me as well. That is wonderful. And then something else exciting that's coming up. Yes. It's January. Absolutely. We're, we're launching the new year going into the deep, but talk to us about our fundraiser. Yeah, we're getting ready for Visions of Hope Breakthrough 2024. 
So we want you to tune in and join uh, Pastor Mike Smalley, Real Talk Kim. We're so glad yes. to have talk, Real Talk Kim back with us. Candace Smithy men and others will be joining us. She actually called us up or actually emailed us and said, urgent message. I have a word from the Lord for our Cornerstone TV family mm -hmm. about the times and seasons and how you can partner with ministry at this time. So tune in January 22nd through 26th at 8 p.m. That is amazing. Thank you so much for just giving us the update. Y'all have got to stay connected to what's happening here at Cornerstone. Even I, I feel like the fundraiser's becoming like camp. Yes. Camp meeting, you Absolutely. know, and like people are coming. They're being drawn toward Cornerstone with that word for God. So I know that he's going to use it. So stay tuned for that week of fundraising. Well, coming up next, Pastor J. Anthony Gilbert zooms in to share the news of a brand new series featured on Hope Today. We'll be back right after this. Wish you could do more for ministry? Through gifts and a will, everyday people just like you give substantially more than would ever be possible otherwise. You see, your will or your trust is an important and powerful document. Through it, you proactively care for the needs of your loved ones. You also transfer your lifetime of resources in a God-honoring way that reflects your faith and values. Your completed will will offer the ultimate statement to your family and to the world about what matters most to you. By including charitable gifts in your will, you model to your loved ones a legacy of stewardship and generosity. You set a powerful example of dedicating your resources to God's glory for the greatest good. Ready to learn more? Discover how gifts in a will are a smart and powerful way to care for your loved ones while furthering the causes that mean so much to you. Call or email us today. Welcome, Pastor Jay. Well, y'all recognize him from hard questions, signs of the times, and hope today. You have some exciting news to share about a brand new series that will be on Hope Today. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. First, let me say it's so great to be with you. Thank you for having me on. It's great to be on this side of the set. And uh, yeah, we've been given the honor and the privilege, my wife and I, as you all know, we have a pregnancy center uh, right in East Liberty. But with that, uh, Cornerstone has asked us to be able to do a show four special segments on Hope Today, starting January 2nd, the 9th, the 16th, and the 30th, we are gonna be doing a segment called Life in a Post-Row World. And listen, we need you to tune in and check it out. There are some phenomenal testimonies. We've got uh, senators that are gonna coming on. We even have babies that have been rescued. Cute little, wee little babies that are gonna be on. It's gonna be really exciting to be very moving. We've got a powerful testimony from a pastor that is now pastoring the church that rescued him. And I've got a special, special surprise about what happened in that story that I'm gonna share in our first segment on January 2nd. So tune in all the way through the month of January, the 2nd, the 9th, the 16th and the 30th at 9 a.m., 1 p.m. and 8 p.m. on Hope Today, life in a post row world. Amanda, it is going to be great. Amen. Well, talk to us, you know, a little bit about when God placed this passion, you know, for the pro-life movement within both you and Tiffany's heart. Well, you know, what's really amazing about it, Amanda, is that we never had a desire to start a center. As a matter of fact, I had preached on it, always been pro-life, stood up for life, but in the middle of the pandemic, the Holy Spirit spoke to us separately, not together. We didn't come together and pray about it. I went to my wife and said, you know, the Lord's been speaking to me saying, we need to open up a center. And she said, you know, it's amazing. The Lord said the same thing to me just a few days ago. And so we just launched out. It was December of 2020, right in the middle of the pandemic. I mean, everything was shut down and God said, I want you to go forward. And we started off on this journey to find a building. We uh, made some small connects with different people in the city. And by April, ladies and gentlemen, by April, it was amazing because we opened up starting with no money in December. We didn't have anything. We did a complete build out, got the name, got established, got uh, different grants and everything. And we're opening our doors by April of 21. So that's a miracle all in itself. And that's why God did it to Amanda. Uh, God really spoke to us and said, preaching to the choir is not enough. 
just standing up for pro-life, saying I'm pro-life is not enough. That's not going to rescue the lives of the unborn. He said, I need you to get off of the front row and to get onto the front lines. Stop preaching to the choir. Go out and be a voice in this city, not only rescuing the unborn, but part of our call, Amanda, is to mobilize people, which is part of the reason why we're doing these segments on Hope Today. We want people to understand since Roe has been overturned, we need to get off of the front rows, get onto the front lines. We have to do something. That was a major victory on the federal level, but now it's been given back to the states. What are pastors and churches willing to do now to go out and rescue the unborn? Unfortunately, Pennsylvania is one of the most pro abortion, pro death states pro-choice states in America, and we're smack dab in the middle of it. We are one block away, Amanda, from the largest abortion provider, second largest abortion provider, rather, in the state of Pennsylvania. So we are looking for people to join with us. We're looking for people to get involved. And we want you that are watching, please pray about how you can support a local pregnancy center near you. There are babies that are being rescued each and every day. We are seeing so many, uh, just a massive movement of women coming in from other states and from states uh, in our current state. And it has just been an outstanding thing to see. Matter of fact, Amanda, the la uh, our, one of the recent uh, babies that have been saved, we've saved our first set of twins. So that was pretty, pretty awesome. And that's the reason why God wanted us also to open the center, but to mobilize people to get off of the front row and front line so we can see more and more babies rescued in Jesus' name. This is amazing, and it's definitely a call from the Lord, and your passion is overflowing. I know Tiffany's is. I'm just thinking some of our viewing audience might be like, how do I get involved with what Pastor Jay and Tiffany are doing? Oh, you know what? We would love to have you get involved. You can call our center. Uh, that's one of the things that you can do. I believe the number is 412-956-LIFE. Uh, you can call them, and uh, my wife or someone that's there at the center can get involved. You can go to also elwcc.org or voicesfortheunborn.org and get involved. Listen, we do need help. Uh, we just recently got a marketing grant. Uh, that is, that's, Cornerstone is linking with us. Thank you so much, Cornerstone Television. They've linked arms with us and support us. And we've gotten this wonderful marketing grant that opened up the doors that we are seeing a major influx of women. So we're trying to go completely medical. We need people to answer phones. We need people to help with uh, uh, counseling women. We need people to help the men to counsel other men. There's so many things we need. It's not just you know, out there on uh, the, the major parts, because a lot of people don't like to do the counseling or things like that. We need prayer warriors. We need people to help stock shelves. We need so many different things. If you have a passion for it at all, we need you to contact us. Go to voicesfortheunborn.org, 412-956-LIFE. Give us a call. We would love to be able to connect with you. And if you'd like to financially support us, it's we have had a major increase in our operating budget because we went from $5,000 a month to $20,000 a month because there's such an influx of women that are coming in. And now we're becoming a full-blown medical clinic, which means we will be doing ultrasounds and everything in-house. We'll be able to do STD testings, all sorts of things that we'll be able to do. So if you'd like to be involved, please contact us. We would love to get you off of the front row and onto the front line. And then tune in. Also, for the uh, Hope Today specials, you're going to hear a lot more about how you can get involved. And not even only our center, there's other centers that you can get involved with as well. That's right. Well, we just have about a minute left. Would you be able to pray a prayer for us? You know, this is a big year, 2024, and Amen. presidential things coming up. Remind us through your prayer of why it is absolutely essential for us to remain pro-life. We'll do, Amanda. Father, thank you for every person that's watching. Father, I pray right now that we would understand that when the devil wants to change times and seasons, he uses demonic legislation. But Father God, when you want to change divine seasons, Father, you use divine revelation. So Father, I pray that we would understand the importance of voting, that we would understand the importance of the right men and women getting into the right offices. Father God, when one pharaoh went into Egypt, it brought Joseph out of prison. When the next pharaoh came in, it took the whole nation into captivity for 400 years. Help us to understand and to see and the opportunity you've given us, Father God, 
to get off of the front row and onto the front line, to vote, to pray, to believe, Father God, for those that will be in offices, will be righteous men and women that will not legislate murder and abortion and other things, Father, but Lord, they will legislate righteousness. For Lord, your word says that when the righteous rule, the people rejoice. But when the wicked rule, the people mourn. So, Lord, help us, Father God, to be those that will get off of the front row, on the front line, make a difference, to vote, and to be a blessing. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much, Pastor Jay. Oh, it's well, such an honor to be here. God bless you. Amen. Well, don't miss this special series with Jay and Tiffany Gilbert every Tuesday in January on Hope Today, Life in a Post-Row World. Stay tuned for more after this. Hi, I'm Ray Heipel, host of Origins. We're here at the Grand Canyon. That's the Colorado River, 1,400 feet below me. We're doing programs because of your partnership with us. You've made that possible through your prayers and your financial support. And I wanna thank you. We're here to glorify God. We're here to show that what the Bible says is true and the proof really is all around you. Thank you for your support. Well, I have enjoyed our time together as always. We have so many things that are exciting coming up here at Cornerstone Television. Well, I don't wanna miss out sharing Katie Farrell's recipe of that crock pot crack chicken chili. It looks amazing and I wanna encourage you this new year to gather your family around the dinner table, have a good cooked meal with them and enjoy your fellowship. And I do wanna thank so many of you for writing in your thankful and praise stories. And if I could just reflect on a couple more, this was from Edwin. Uh, he asked for prayer for those unsaved loved ones. We always lift up the unsaved loved ones here at Cornerstone up to God because we know his desire is to draw them unto his self. And we're believing with you, Edwin. And they love sister to sister, the pastors, and they watch before church and Sunday evening. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Edwin, for just being a part of Cornerstone Television. And Carol said, thanks for all your great programs like Origins, hard questions and block party movies like a box of faith and pilgrim's progress and please pray for our good health we do we lift up our partners we're so thankful for each and every one of you being a part of something that's bigger than any one of us without your support and love we would not be able to be here and i would just like to close with lamentations 3 22 and 23 it says through the lord's mercies we are not consumed because his compassions fail not they are new every morning great is your faithfulness god is faithful can you imagine every morning i know tom was talking about getting up writing the pens of your or the pages of your book with that ready pen and allowing the holy spirit but just know every morning when you rise god's mercies are new that is the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ, that he died on a cross and he rose again for both your and my freedom and that we could walk out in the fullness of all God has. That's our desire for us here at Cornerstone. That is our desires for you. So know every morning his mercies are new. <laughs> Thank you.